Today I'm going to show you how to make a selection of points in a curve to apply any operation. So let's see. Let's do the camera, the light, go to 20 nodes. Let's hide this panel and this one. And let's create a new profile. I'm going to drag this and add a curve line. Let's connect it. And here we have a line. And now what I want is to offset to move this line. So let's add set position. And here we can offset it in any axis. OK. However, now what I want is to move only half of this line and the other half to stay in the place. So first of all, we need to see the number of the points, the index. So to see the number of the points, remember you need to able in add-ons, not wrangle. And then select a node and press Ctrl Shift left click. So we have the viewer node. And we have to select index because we want to see the index of these points. And to see the index, we need to go here, enable attribute text. And remember, this is a new feature in Blender 4.1. So activate this and disable this to not see the white color. I'm going to hide this cursor and the floor to see better the numbers. So I don't want to see the floor and I don't want to see the 3D cursor. OK, so now, as you can see, we have only two points, the start and the end. We know this is the start because it says zero and this is the end. So we need more points because if we want to split this in two parts, we need at least one point here. So let's add resample. And now we have 10 points, as you can see, from zero to nine. Let's decrease this, for example, let's add three. So now, how I can move this point here? So do something like that. To do this, we need to do a selection, right? Because if we move this, we are moving everything together. So we need to use endpoint selection. And here you can see we have a start size and end size. So a start always is the first point of a curve. So this one, zero. This is start and this is end. And now it says one, one. So let's select this zero. So how this works? If in a star we have one, that means that from the star we have selected one point. So now we have the selection of this point. So if we try to offset it, let's see it. You can see that we are offsetting, moving only this point because we have selected one point from the star. If I want to move it until this one, then I need to select number two. It's not the number two. It means we have now two points from the start. So now we have this point selected and both are moving. And if you want three, then you select three and it's the same that not having this. And we can do the same from the end. I'm going to add more points so you can see better. Now, if I want to select the three and move it here, then from the end, remember, I'm going to select one. So now I have one selected and I have to select two more. So I'm going to add one, two. So now I have three points selected from the end. So I'm controlling these three points. So as you can see, this is to select number of points always from a start or the end. Also, you can do is select, for example, everything except number two. So now we're moving these points. So this is how it works. You can play with these values to apply different animation operations. For example, what we can do is to add a nice texture. Let's add more points, for example. And let's, let me select, for example, one. And now what I'm saying, now actually I'm going to do in the other side. I'm going to select everything except zero. So if I have 21 points, I'm going to select 20 points. So now the noise texture is displacing, offsetting all the points except the first one. I'm going to set this because it's better. And here in a scale, we can play with this. By the way, we need to add vector math and select subtract 0 0.5. So we make everything come back to this axis. 
you have to do always this when you use nice texture. So now we can select 4D and apply, for example, this animation. I'm going to make the scale more soft, something like this. And let's add, for example, a scene time. As you can see, we are moving everything except the first point. If you want to move the first point, then we select everything. And if you want to move only until here, you can start selecting less points. Now we have only one number selected. So this is how it works, and this is how you can select any point of a curve and apply an operation. For example, making a displacement with noise texture. If you learned something new and you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can draw this project and many more in my Patreon. And see you in the next video.